10 Infrastructural Projects for Africa Integration Hello this floor is. Welcome to another informative video presented to you by this floor. The organization, planning, funding and execution of any project is usually a multi-dimensional sword, as they fulfill not only physical needs but then to give the country or continent involved a new identity and life. Some are meant to create social and economic benefits while others just bring people to a common playing field of unity. In this video, we shall examine some of such peculiar projects with 10 infrastructural projects for Africa integration. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Number 10. North Africa Transmission Corridor The aim of this project is to ensure the transmission of energy between Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, and Egypt, as well as the transportation of regional energy to Union the Maghreb Arab countries. The Comité Maghrebin de l'Electricité, Comelec, serves as a project sponsor and plays a key role in interconnection. Comelec is a supranational committee of the Arab Maghreb Union, AMU, with the main goal of establishing and coordinating energy policy and liberalization efforts particularly with regard to the transmission systems of AMU member states. This project will assist in growing regional power integration and will reduce the need for reserve capacity in power systems, leading to savings on investment costs. The countries involved will share in the benefit of the low-cost gas-based power generated in Algeria and Libya. This project entails the construction of a 2,700 km transmission line with a 4,500 MW capacity to connect East, North, and Southern Africa. Number 9. Zambia-Tanzania-Kenya Transmission Line ZTK. The ZTK is a construction of a transmission line that connects the power networks of Zambia, Tanzania, and Kenya. This project includes the section of 905 km Zambian section of the 2800 km ZTK interconnector from Kabwe Pensula Nakonde Kasama in Zambia to Tunduma in Tanzania. The project was envisioned to be implemented in two phases, starting with the Kabwe Pensulo Kasama Nakonde section, and the second phase would have comprised the Kabwe Pensulo Mpika Kasama section. It will have led to a capacity of 500 megawatts, upgradable to 2000 megawatts, depending on power demand. The objective of the ZTK interconnector is to facilitate trading in electricity in the region and promote power system stability. ZTK will effectively connect the Southern African Power Pool SAP, with the East African Power Pool IAP. Its benefits are multifaceted, as it will simultaneously connect Tanzania to East Africa Power Pool and Southern Africa Power Pool for the first time. By interconnecting the IAP and SAP grids, it will create the largest power pool on the continent and it will be an essential component of the North-South or Cape to Cairo Power Transmission Corridor. The energy security, diversified power generation mix and competition will reduce the power tariff, which in turn will stimulate industrial development, increase employment, increase access to energy, and thus help in reducing poverty on the continent. Number 8. Lusaka Lilongwe ICT Terrestrial Fiber Optic The project involves the construction of a fiber optic network from Lusaka to Kasumbalesa, a town at the border of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The project is expected to bridge the gap in access to essential communication services through improved quality and cheaper broadband services. Deployment and implementation of a broadband connectivity link between Kinshasa and Lusaka through the link Mwanda Kinshasa, then Kinshasa Kasumbalesa afterwards, establishes a cross border connection operated by Zamtel in Zambia and La Societe Congolaise de Postes et de Telecommunication, SCPT in DRC. This project will not only provide a necessary service to the countries involved, but will also make the ties between them stronger. Number 7. Abidjan Lagos Coastal Corridor The Abidjan Lagos Coastal Corridor is the construction of a six-lane dual carriageway highway from Abidjan Lagos including development of economic platforms within the corridor, ensuring coherence between transport modes and economic activities to engender integration and economic development. The 2x3 highway from Abidjan to Lagos through Accra, Lomé and Cotonou 
covering a large proportion of West Africa's population and linking very vibrant seaports, will serve all the landlocked countries of the region, being Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger. The project also includes provision for trade and transit facilitation, corridor management and the development of economic zones such as logistics centers, industrial zones, cross-border and regional markets to ensure the integration of the region and economic development. To facilitate transportation along this corridor, which carries over 75% of the trade volume in West Africa, so as to sustain the free flow of persons, trade and improve the respective economies of the corridor states. Number 6. Sambangalo Hydropower Project The construction of the Sambangalo Dam with an installed capacity of 128 megawatts in the 3.8 km cube reservoir is a transboundary initiative of the Gambia River Basin Organization OMVG, involving the Gambia, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau and Senegal before Guinea backed out. The proposed Sambangalo Dam project entails the construction of a gravity dam located in Senegal, 930 km upstream from the mouth of the Gambia River and about 25 km south of Kedugu. The project was formerly part of the larger OMVG energy project involving four countries, with Kaleta Dam in Guinea and interconnecting power grid. However, it split in 2011 after Guinea decided to develop Kaleta Dam as a standalone. The project now has two components, which are the Sambangalo Dam and an interconnection transmission line which will link the Sambangalo and Kaleta Dams to the electric grid of the four member countries. The objective of the OMVG Energy Project is to increase the availability of clean power, given the power deficit in the region and the high dependence on imported oil, and of course use of environmentally damaging hydrocarbon power regeneration. Furthermore, it aims to improve energy security. Number 5. Modernization of Dakar Bamako Rail Line The modernization of Dakar Bamako Rail Line project is a 1,286km line connecting the interior of Senegal and Mali with Dakar port. It will involve the rehabilitation and modernization of the main railway line and the station tracks. The high-budget railway line has over 1,200 structures, 150 railway level crossings and 70 stations or stops. This project will make movements between ECOWA states much shorter than before. This project is expected to improve connectivity and intra-African trade between Dakar in Senegal and Bamako in Mali, and also other countries, promoting regional integration and help to engender new economic spin-offs or opportunities through rail spurs. Number 4. The Trans-Saharan Gas Pipeline the Trans-Saharan Gas Pipeline, also known as Nigal Pipeline and Trans-African Gas Pipeline, is a planned natural gas pipeline from Nigeria to Algeria. The idea of the Trans-Saharan Pipeline was first proposed in the 1970s, but by January 2002, things were set up for the project, and by July 2009, Nigeria, Niger and Algeria concretized the memorandum of the project. The pipeline will start in the Wari region in Nigeria and run north through Niger to Hasi Armel in Algeria. In Hasi Armel, the pipeline will connect to the existing Trans-Mediterranean Maghreb Europe, Medgas and Galsi pipelines. The length of the pipeline will be 4,128 km, 1,037 km in Nigeria, 841 km in Niger and 2,310 km in Algeria. With an annual capacity of up to 30 billion cubic meters of natural gas, the pipeline was originally expected to be operational by 2015, but as of 2019, the project was still in the prospect stage. Number 3. Serenje Nakonde Road Project The Serenje Nakonde Road Project is a road that runs in the northeastern direction from Serenje in Zambia's central province to Nakonde at the border post between Zambia and Tanzania in the northern province, covering a total distance of 611.5 km. The road is divided into three links. Link 1, Serenje Mpika, which is 238.3 km. Link 2, Mpika to Chinsali, which is 164.6 km. 
and link 3, Chinsali to Nakonde, which is 208.6 kilometers. The overall objective of the NSCAFT program is to contribute to the reduction of the cost of transport along the North, South and Dar es Salaam corridors so as to improve competitiveness of business in the eight countries served by this road or rail corridor in general and producers and consumers in Zambia and DRC especially. The efficient operation of the transport along this corridor also provides further opportunities to deepen regional integration as well as enhance national and regional economic growth and so raise standards of living of their people across the region. The project is estimated to cost $169 million, sponsored by the African Development Bank. Number 2. Dar es Salaam Port Expansion The port of Dar es Salaam is the second most important gateway for regional trade in East Africa after Mombasa, catering to 90% of Tanzania's international trade and a significant part of transshipment trade for Zambia, Malawi, DRC, Burundi, Rwanda and Uganda. Following privatization in the 1990s, the Dar port became one of the most efficient ports in Africa, but its performance deteriorated gradually over time. It is estimated that efficiency gains if the Dar port were to become as efficient as Mombasa, the total cumulative cost of the delays and additional monetary costs would add up to the equivalent of 22% tariff rate on container imports, amounting to $1.8 billion per year. Modernizing the port of Dar es Salaam has been a priority in recent national strategies and if done, will become one of the biggest in Africa. Number 1. Ruzizi 3 Hydropower Project The Ruzizi River forms the border between the Democratic Republic of Congo and Rwanda. Ruzizi 1 and 2 were constructed in 1959 and 1989 with installed capacity of 30 MW and 44 MW respectively. The 287 MW Ruzizi 3 is still in the planning stage, with the potential to transform electricity supply for an estimated 107 million people living in the Great Lakes region, and is expected to contribute to the stabilization of the region by enhancing economic cooperation between the three countries involved. In spite of the past decade of war, cooperation between the three countries involved in this project, Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo and Rwanda, has never ceased to operate in ensuring the production and distribution of electricity, which is generated from hydropower of the Ruzizi River. The project was selected by European Union to support the peace process in the Great Lakes region. There you have it, explorers. Those were 10 projects that will unite Africa. Thanks for watching this video, and if you did enjoy, do want to give the thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and also share with your friends.